Hello everybody, it's um, Alex. I want to start this tutorial by saying I am currently banned from Hypixel. Um, for more information about that, I put it in the announcements in the Discord. But um, without the way, I'm having my friend record this for me, and we are seeing his perspective. Alright, so in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make player IDs. Um, I'll also be explaining what they are for, what you can use them with, and stuff like that. Um, the most well-known reason is the welcome messages and the welcome back messages, as well as the leave messages in your house. Alright, so let's get started. So first, we're going to go to the housing menu, go to house settings, event actions, player join, add condition, oops, sorry, add action, and then condition. Um, make a new condition, player stat requirement. Uh, set the uh, stat to ID equal to zero. So if the player joins and our ID is equal to zero, then we want to give them a new ID. So add action, change global stat ID so the server will keep track of how many players have joined. And then we're going to set the player's ID to that newly increased um, global stat, global stat underscore ID. So it will get increased upon a new join and then set that to the player. So that's pretty much it. Now we should be able to leave the uh, house and join back into it. And as you can see on the scoreboard, our player ID is set to one. So that did indeed work. And if another player were to join, it'd be set to two and then three and then four and then continuing on. So I'm going to show you how to do the welcome, welcome back and leave messages. And then it'll be up to you to figure out what you want to do with it. All right, so we're going to go to house settings, functions, and we're going to create our welcome, welcome back, and leave messages. So if your house is a bit more complex and uses a lot of functions, you're probably going to want to use as little functions as possible. I'll have a link in the description about how you can do this and turn them into one function. However, um, this is a bit more complex, and I'm not going into too complex topics with my videos. But just know if you're running out of functions, um, go, to the tutor go to the link in the description. I'll explain it more there. All right, so let's create a new function called welcome. And what we're gonna to wanna to do inside this function is add a chat message. And we'll just make up something here, new player. And then we're going to want to say, or maybe change the color, player number. And then this is really important. We wanna set the um, text to say global stat underscore ID for broadcast. Now this can be whatever, but I'm choosing this to just better keep track. Basically what this will do is replace what's inside these, uh, what are these called, percent signs, with um, our global stat ID for broadcast, which we will set up a bit later. Just continue with what I'm doing, it'll make sense later. All right, so now our welcome back function will say new player and then the player's ID, which we'll set. All right, we're gonna create another fun, oh my God. All right, we're gonna put, oh my God. We're going to create another function called um, welcome back. And this will just say welcome back. And then player number. And then again, stat. Nope, sorry. Global stat underscore ID for broadcast. And then we'll just end it off. Okay. And then one final thing we will do goodbye. New chat message. We hope to see you again. Player number global stat underscore ID for broadcast. Okay. So now we have our function set up to have the different messages and now follow the steps I do to add them. So we're going to go back to the house settings, event actions, player join, and inside here, um, again, if the player does not have an ID set up, then we're going to set up their ID for the first time. Um, and this will be our welcome message. But we want to set the ID for broadcast, ID for broadcast, that variable we set up in those messages. Set that to our stat, the player's ID. And then we're going on to trigger the function welcome, trigger for all players. So that's setting it up for if the player is joining for the first time. Now for else, meaning the ID is already set up, we're going to want to welcome the player back. So set the ID for broadcast equal to the player's stat underscore ID. And then we're going to want to trigger the function welcome back for all players. 
Um, I should also specify, uh, we're doing for all players because if we didn't do that, it would just say that for the player joining back. But now that it's triggering for all the players, then it will say it for everyone. All right, so now we're going to go to the player quit event and add an action. Um, change global stat ID for broadcast. Again, set this to the player's ID. And then trigger function uh, goodbye trigger for all players. All right, so I went ahead and reset the values um, for our player ID. As you can see, it is equal to zero. I also reset the global stat. So now if we go to the hub and rejoin back into our house, it'll say, welcome back player one. Why is it saying that? Okay, so now if we rejoin onto our house, we should see um, that uh, welcome back player number one. Now it is just a bit buggy. Um, I don't know why it does this. It happened for me in my other houses. It should have said um, welcome for the first time, but it didn't. Um, I honestly don't know why. I don't think there's anything really to fix this, but um, you can kind of just ignore it since you're the owner. You don't really need to see that. Uh, if you really want to test it, get like your friend to join. Um, but yeah, that should be uh, fully working now. And um, I would show the leave messages, but I can't um, just do to me being banned and hard to work with but anyway um i hope you just enjoyed this tutorial i hope it made sense um i'll have a link in the description to a bit more information including how to get it into one function um but yeah i hope you enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next tutorial which i do need ideas for so please comment and join the discord until i'm unbanned um please expect some more of these tutorials while we wait uh, but yeah i promise i'll release some big projects soon including a new house which is in the works uh currently uh, yeah, super excited for it. I'll see you guys later.